What's going on YouTube? So I'm not a financial advisor by no means, but I am going to tell you some stuff I wish people told me about saving money. Like really, it's not that hard to save money, especially if you got a steady paycheck coming in. Now, just keep that in mind. I'm talking about the people with a steady paycheck, but I'm also going to talk about the actual percentages of people who don't save. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into that video right now. So over half of Americans have less than three months worth of, of emergency savings. Like, of course, this is a headline from CNNBC. It was published July 28th, 2021. It's pretty much talking about that they did a survey, a thousand respondents by telephone interviews conducted by the SSRS Omnibus between June uh, 22 through 27, 2021. So for about 25% of the survey respondents indicated having no emergency savings at all. It's up from the 21% who said they didn't in 2020, and another 26% say they have some, but not enough to cover up their, their expenses for three months. Okay, why is that important? So like, if you get hurt, or you hit a downfall, or a downtrend happens in our economy, we lose a lot of money. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a perfect example. COVID-19 shut down a lot of things, so like people were definitely in a hardship. And so a lot of people weren't able to pay their bills. And so what the government did was gave us some money to try to stimulate the economy. We all know how that went because we're living through it now. But either way, regardless, you want to have your own nest egg and not rely on the government's nest egg. So for my people that's coming up in the military or you even in high school right now, start saving some cash now, man. Like you could have two bank accounts. You could have a bank account with Navy Fed and USAA. That's what I did. And then that way USAA for me was my secondary. I was like, you know what? I could put some money to USAA, USAA and then I'd never even see it leave my Navy Fed paycheck. So it'd be like $50 each paycheck for about five years going to this account that I hardly even look at, but it's accumulating those funds. That way I'm saving. That way I always got that three months worth of an emergency fund. Now, of course, those are just imaginary numbers. I ain't telling you how much money I got on YouTube, but I'm just saying. And then also, man, I'm gonna tell you another reason why I try to save money. I try to get out this lifestyle of this cycle of we move, we go into an apartment and we pay somebody all this money just to live. Like we can have our own houses too. We can have our own condos too. So just because you're in the military, don't think that you can't invest in real estate or you can't go get a real estate license or become a licensed real estate agent. Or if you want to go um, buy commercial properties or you want to go buy land, all of that stuff is available to us. And all you got to really do is know it is have somebody tell it to you, I guess. And that way you could just save for those things. I tell you right now, when I was 17, 18, probably about to 25, 20, 26, I wasn't thinking about buying no land. You know what I'm saying? I was buying clothes. At my time frame, it was true religion jeans and gold necklaces and stuff like that. So that's what I had. All right, YouTube. So I seen this at a friend's house, man. I want to read it to you. So it says, be thankful, live simply, be kind, do your best, use please and thank you, cherish family and friends, never give up, believe in yourself, listen with your heart, help others love, love often and lots. I just liked it, man. But <laughs> I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, save your bread, man. That way you can go ahead and do what you want to do later in life. And for us, for many of especially people in my generation, we want to live good. Peace.